Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Psalm 119, 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. The word of God is, is so incredible to us. It, it's a GPS. <laughs> it, it tells us exactly where we need to go. It, it tells us exactly what we need to do. It is the most incredible thing when you are lost. You can go through like, I don't know, get on the internet and look up life skills and they'll give you all these various PhDs and all these people that you can possibly follow, but no, the scripture is what you need. The scripture is what you need. As it continues in Psalm 119, 105, I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules. I am severely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my free will offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me your rules. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever. For they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. In some of my hardest times in life, I used to go to Alexandria, Virginia, and just go to a cupcake shop and have a coffee and just read Proverbs and read Psalms and just read different scriptures. And it 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 just it just came into me. It sunk deep into my heart and I felt so much comfort, so much peace, so much joy. The, like <clears throat> the Lord guided me and filled my mind with his thing. So as I walked through with him daily, I would know what I need to do and who I needed to talk to and what mission I needed to. He was constantly filling me up with his word and it's not so much the knowledge that's important. It's the actual obeying and, and following his word. But you need both. You need to know what his word says so that you can do it. So someone just can't come over and mislead you and tell you, hey, this is how you get through life. This is what life's about. This is what you need to do. This is what you know. Know the word of God. Know the word of God. At 2 Timothy 3, 14 through 15 says, but as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed. How can you continue what you've learned and, and what you firmly believe if you never learned anything? Fill yourself with the word, knowing from whom you learned it and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God. All of it's breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Some of those Psalms that we just read, you saw how King, I believe it's King David. Yeah, I believe it's King David. He was going through some sad times and reading those, those scriptures in the Psalms and seeing the things that he's going through. It just reminds you to stay strong, stay strong. Remember his sad times. Remember how God got him through. For proof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work, for every good work. It is it. It's all you need. It's the GPS you need. It's the life guide you need. It's, it's the thing that will sit on your heart and rest on you. And whenever you need to come and shoot it back out, the Holy Spirit that resides in you, the same Holy Spirit that had 60 plus authors write the word with God's inspiration, written 100% by mankind and 100% by God, just like Yeshua is 100% the Son of Man and 100% Son of God, His word is perfect. And it's incredible to guide us. As Hebrews 4, 12 through 13 says, For the word of God is living and active, 
sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the divisions of soul and of spirit, of joint and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him whom we must give account. All is naked and exposed through the word of God. You can't hide from it. There's no hiding. There's no sin that can be hidden from. What's best to do is take it into your heart and obey the word of God. Don't fight against it. Don't fight against it. It's the greatest gift that the Lord God could ever give anyone. His mercy is the greatest thing that he could ever give us because we've all fallen short. We've all fallen short. So yeah, use it. Use it, use it as a guide. Forget all these other things that try and lead you and just, no, just follow him. Follow his word. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for guiding us through life. Thank you for giving us your word so we can continue daily in the ways that you want. We love you, Father, and forgive us for any of our sins. May we stay strong in this dark and desolate world. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.